Hey guys, Kels Prime here, and today I want to talk about a TWAB, gonna be a short one as there wasn't much in there. If you find this useful, please consider supporting the video and channel by liking, subscribing and sharing. So next week Tuesday 2.1.3 update is coming along with the Izanami Forge. A lot of fixes and quality of life updates will be coming with this update, so let's go over them. Players under 600 power will receive greater rewards coming from weekly challenges to assist them gaining access to the forge's new power level requirements. The issue relating to the Harbinger's Echo Sparrow has also been fixed. Joining an in-progress forge or completing a forge with two different weapon frames and losing one has been addressed. 1000 voices higher damage based on PC frame rate is also resolved and now fixed and will be deployed with 2.1.3. You would think that considering the frame rate issue is so common now, someone at Bungie in QA when writing the QA process would have someone playing at a higher frame rate at all times. Yes, I work in QA so I can make these calls and make these judgments. Shaders dismantling slowly, Crucible Solemnity Shader preventing the Crucible badge and Clan XP rewards with some players being unable to get rewards have also been addressed and fixed and will be deployed with the patch. Veterans of the Hunt Bundle will also be available later in the day for players with this update. Finally, Bungie are finally placing a end marker on the radar for orientation, probably the greatest quality of life fix yet. Nah, I'm just kidding. Would be cool though, right? Along with the third forge, we get dates for Mayhem is here till December the 25th, which is both great and a shame. I do love the 5 minute crucible games. Finally, Lord Salad Bar returns to the wall, bringing a new armor set, new challenges and bounties. Lord Salad Bar comes out of hiding on December 25th to Jan 1st, which is probably the oddest time for any event to take place. But with Salad Bar living in a crate, I guess he finally got a cramp and needed the exercise. The bounties that are supplied will all be powerful as per the previous rendition. The armor set does look nice as you can see on screen and well maybe this season I can finally try and do all the bounties for all three classes for the triumphs. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. Along with these, we get Year 1 Iron Banner weapons returning, the Kreml's Dagger and the Hero's Burden now in full-fledged uninspiring random roles. Lord Salad Bar has been it seems hiding inside the crate all along. Who would have known that he never actually leaves the tower? The sneaker one is spying on us always. What? You believe Ada One was hiding in a wall for 4 years and you find this odd? With that said, that's the end of the TWAB update summary. Have a wonderful weekend guardians and as always, remain legend.